Hello everybody, my name is Dan and I like to solve puzzles, obviously, and today's puzzle is extra cool for me because it's one of my own designs and I don't review my own designs very often. This is the puzzle here and I've got another background, which is this right here. Uh, it's actually a pillowcase my mom made to me. Thanks mom. And the reason I did that is because the table is the same color as the puzzle so you can't really see it at all. As you can see, you can't really see too much. But even with this, it is still kind of hard to see it unless I reflect it in the light. So I'm gonna do my best job to keep my face on the studio monitor I have here to, uh, to see if I'm making sure that you can see what I'm doing here. So this burr puzzle here is what is referred to as a six piece in a cage puzzle. There's many, many variations of this. I have another one that in my possession that I have also made as well. This one is called peekaboo. And the reason for that is because in most caged puzzles, similar to this one here, you can see this is also a six piece. You can see that the cage is perfectly square. These corners have a different color and you, you can't see into the puzzle like basically any time to see what you're doing. But on a puzzle like this, you can see that the corners are gone and with the right lighting, you can actually see in there. I asked to have this puzzle built in all Wenge wood, which is this brown wood. If I had the puzzle built uh, with like light colored uh, actual pieces, uh, like these pieces here being light colored, then you would be able to see inside. So ironically, it kind of defeated the purpose of, of making this puzzle called Peekaboo because I can't really see in it but under the right lighting I can. So I guess in a sense it kind of, you can, but it adds a little bit more challenge to it because you really have to be looking. So this puzzle is a level 31, which means that you have 31 moves in order to take the first piece out. And then from there, it just kind of comes apart. Now I am told by the guy that I had built this, his name is Alphonse Aikmans. He's a really, really talented puzzle designer and builder. I had him build this because he's so great. And he told me this is a really fantastic puzzle, meaning that it, it just, it's everything about it works perfectly. And that's exactly what I look for when I'm building a puzzle is to have one single solution, no like restrictions on it. Restrictions I'll maybe talk about uh, later on. Nothing can come out early, which is really, really good for a puzzle. So overall, it's a really good, well-rounded puzzle. So even though this is my design, I don't know how to solve it because when I design them, nothing about the program tells, like shows me how to memorize the solve. It does show me the solve, but it doesn't show me how to solve it. So this is my first time attempting this and I'm gonna try to do this on camera. It's probably gonna take a while. Uh, so the first thing I do is I look around and see what's moving. Like this one here moves out quite a bit and it doesn't go the other way. This one here can move both ways this way and that way, and I can see that when I go here, it wants to come in, and when I come all the way here, it also wants to come in. This one here wants to come out as well. So, now that I know what three pieces uh, are moving, we're gonna see what happens. If I move this one down, does that release anything else? It blocks those. This can still move either way. So, let's move on to the next one. If I take this one out, that one is now blocked this one can move and that's it so i am going to start here and move this piece over and down and what does that expose that makes this one move so from here i can move that one up and down and you can kind of see that it moves this piece on the inside and blocks that so that's as far as that one goes. And from there, it is not allowing any more movement. So I do not believe this piece has to come this way first. Let's put it down this way. Now that that's down, this can come in again. Nothing else is moving. This piece is moving up. Anything else that can move because this piece is now up? No. How about if it's halfway? No. How about this one again? Ah, yeah, aha. See, I can only go in so far with this, but then when I move this piece up, I can go further. There we go. And that piece can come up, which brings this piece up. And now this piece wants to move. So I think this is, this here is, is the way that I'm supposed to go. Sort of like that. Now this is there, so I think that I think I'm on the right track now of where to go. And from here, 
that can't move this can't move can this piece move anymore it can it can move to the side and I'm guessing it releases this piece here which it does and this one has a notch out of here so I'm just kind of going through my process here I mean I may not even be on the right track but we're giving it a shot and then from here if that's up does anything else move it doesn't does this go in it does and now this one can move out look at that I'm getting somewhere so just because I've gotten this far this seemed lucky to me um, unless this puzzle just goes that way some puzzles very intuitive once you find the path there's only one movement to do either way but sometimes you can run into a snag so now that we have this piece out I want to see if anything else moves as a result of that this one can still move back but I just moved that one I don't know if I want to come back yet sometimes in puzzles you'll find that once you get to a certain point a piece comes out and nothing else will come out so you actually have to backtrack the pieces besides the the last one all the way to the beginning so one piece comes out and that'll release something else but i don't know if that's the case on this one but it might be because i'm not getting any more movement out of here so let's backtrack a little bit So that goes in now I can pull this one out more you see that aha so that one can come out more we're almost back to the beginning except for this piece and this piece hmm so it's been about 15 minutes and I'm not getting oh oh <laughs> that's too funny literally been 15 minutes and I'm not finding the next move and I don't know where to go and then up seems to be the solution from there and then from here I gotta find the next move that goes through to the back <clears throat> there's nothing else that can move as a result so that's obviously not the next move Oh, it can also come forwards. Now we've got it coming forwards. We've released something to come forwards. And from there, nothing else can move. So I think that that is the wrong movement. Can we bring this piece forward? Can this go up? Now that can go up. Okay, now this can come forward. So now we've got this piece forward and this one comes up. And again, nothing can move. Oh, I feel like I've... I feel like I've tried everything from here. It's just not going. Okay, well, I've been stuck on this part now for about 20 minutes. That can go forward and nothing. This can go back and, hey, wait, we can go sideways, can't we? We can, like before. Oh, now that comes back up again. And what does that release? doesn't release anything but I can see through the puzzle now all the way and I can see that this is no longer blocked again so I can bring this back out and then come up uh-huh keep okay, it now that this is in I don't have anywhere anywhere to go oh this one moves and oh look at that that moves to the side. This should be able to move, maybe. This one, no. This one, no. This one, no. That's got to release something. That has to release something from here. Ah. Uh, Aha. Uh -huh. See? There we go. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, I'm going to explain to you what just happened here and how... Oh, here we come. Oh, peace just came out. Okay, so I did solve it. I'm going to see if I can't put it back, though, to kind of explain what happened here. You can't really see it because it is dark, but because the wood is dark. But basically, when I took this piece all the way out, what it did is it brought the edge, the other edge of this piece, past the line of this side of this piece. So I thought, okay, obviously that's a big move. I haven't been able to do that before. What happens is when I pull it, I know something else has to move, 
but because the end of this piece is sitting halfway between these two pieces right here, I know that they can't move this way or that way because the end is blocking it. But this piece now can move sideways. So what happened is I brought it up and now it can come sideways, which ends up making enough room to release this piece from the puzzle. So that's the first piece of the puzzle. This is the second piece of the puzzle. This piece can come out. This piece can come out. And now this piece, and now that piece. Ha ha! So this is what the cage actually looks like. It's sort of like six pieces, these two strips here with this end U piece, and it's same with the other side, and it's basically six of those, and I can see by the way the wood grain is, it hasn't been cut. So he made six pieces, cut out this, and then cut out all the bottoms, and then just glued them together as a cage. So this puzzle here is actually eight centimeters across, and we know that because typically puzzles like this, especially from Alphonse, all of the strips are one centimeter. So we've got one, two, three, four, five that are missing, six, seven, and eight. All right, so now I guess I have to put all of these pieces back together and I have no idea because I was going through this quickly for the video and I didn't uh, memorize. Uh, I memorized a lot of the solution but not which pieces go in first. So I am going to use Burr Tools in order to put it back together. And as you can see, Burr Tools is a great program. It basically just shows you exactly how to start putting it back together. It also tells you how to disassemble things if you want but that's not fun, that, that's no fun. I've resorted to burr tools when I got really stuck. But on a puzzle like this, uh, this fairly easy puzzle, uh, even for the level of a 31, so I, I didn't need burr tools, but I am gonna use burr tools to put it back together. All right, everybody, so I've got this puzzle back together now. It took me just over an hour to find the solution, so Alphonse was right, it is a very good design. Nothing's gonna come out early, and it's, it's very solid all the way from the beginning to the end. But it is quite an easy puzzle as far as six piece burrs go, as you can see, like usually a six piece burr, sometimes it can take you less than an hour, sometimes it can take you days. It really depends on how many false starts you have in this case. There's only a few and they only go a few moves and after you start finding a dead end, you know to back, it's just, overall a fairly simple puzzle. Now there may be some of you out there that might want a copy of this puzzle. I'm not 100% sure if Alphonse will make it or not. Sometimes when I do show a puzzle, uh, sometimes the sales go pretty high on them because you know I've shown the puzzle and I don't know how busy he is or anything. So I will ask him if he's willing to make copies for anybody and if so, uh, I'll leave his email at the top of the description down here. Uh, but if it's not there, uh, that means he hasn't gotten back to me or he just said no and that he just did it for me. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on my next video.